we want to check the convergence divergence of the following series. The summation of square root of n divided by 1 plus n to power 3 over 2. There are different techniques that you can use. What I'm going to use, I'm going to show you how to use integral test. In using the method of integral test, remember that a series like a n can be analyzed using f of n equals to a n if this function is positive continuous and decreasing on the interval 1 to positive infinity. Then, if all of these conditions are met, if the integral of f of x dx from 1 to infinity is convergent, we can conclude that the series also convergent. So let us begin. My function here, f of x is equal to square root of x divided by one plus x to power three halves. This function is indeed continuous and positive. You can use Desmos and graph this function. Let me graph it for you. So the behavior of this function approximately is like this. Just an approximation of the behavior. It's not very precise. You can use Desmos or any other graphing website to graph this for you. Well, this guy continues. In the very first condition, it must be positive. Is it positive? Yes. f of x is on the positive part of y-axis. So the first condition is met. What about the second condition? Is it continuous? You can see that this guy is continuous all the time. So the second condition also met. What about being decreasing? By looking at the graph, you can say that, okay, you can analyze this a little bit, but on the exam, on the homework, if they say, show step-by-step -step work, you need to take the derivative of this function and show that the derivative is negative. To check if f of x is decreasing, We need to show that f prime of x is a negative function. So let us begin. My f of x is equal to square root of x divided by 1 plus x to power 3 halves. We're applying the quotient rule, which says if you have p, divided by q and you're taking the derivative it is p prime q minus p q prime divided by q squared so let us take the derivative of this function f prime of x is the derivative of square root of x times one plus x to power three halves 
minus the derivative 1 plus x to power 3 halves times square root of x divided by this quantity to the second power. So the derivative, let me move this guy back here, f prime of x can be written as 1 divided by 2 square root of x times 1 plus x to the power 3 halves minus the derivative of this guy is 3 halves square root of x times square root of x divided by 1 plus x to 3 halves to power 2. We can simplify this further. So uh, if you distribute 1 over 2 square root of x down here, or basically if you write it outside, either is fine. You can distribute or you can basically simplify this further. So here you have 1 divided by 2 times square root of x plus x times square root of x divided by 2 times square root of x minus 3 halves square root of x times square root of x is just x divided by 1 plus x to power 3 halves to power 2. Cancel out square root of x and square root of x. What you're left with f prime of x can be written as 1 divided by 2 times square root of x plus x divided by 2 minus 3 over 2 times x divided by 1 plus x to power 3 halves to power 2. My goal is to simplify this further so I can analyze this a little bit better. What I'm going to do, I'm going to write down 2 square root of x on the denominator. How? So if you combine these two fractions here, This is basically x minus 3x, which is negative 2x divided by 2, so you get minus x. So here you have 1 divided by 2 times square root of x. Minus 2x divided by 2 over 1 plus x to power 3 halves to power 2, or... Basically, you have 1 divided by 2 times square root of x minus x divided by 1 plus x to power 3 halves to power 2. So write f prime of x this way. Remember, your goal is to show that this guy is negative and find that interval. f prime of x can be written as 1 divided by 2 times square root of x. And here you get 1 minus you have 2 times x times square root of x divided by 1 plus x to power 3 halves to power 2. But let us take a look at this. This quantity is always positive. This quantity must be positive as well. It only takes on positive values. The only thing you're worried about is 1 minus 2 times x times square root of x. So for this one here, 1 minus 2x square root of x is going to be negative if 2 times x times square root of x is more than 1, or basically x times square root of x is more than a half, or x to power 3 halves is more than a half or x is more than if you just take or if you just raise it to two thirds you get the third root of one over four so as long as x is more than the third root of one fourth then you are fine on this interval 
the function is indeed decreasing. And the interval, the third root of one fourth and infinity, the function is indeed decreasing. So we just showed all of these conditions to be met. And the function is positive, continuous, and decreasing. So since the conditions are met, we can apply the convergence, divergence, integral test here. So let us begin the actual work. Since the function satisfies all three conditions, so we can apply the integral test. We need to take the integral of the function that we have, square root of x, divided by 1 plus x to power 3 halves dx between 1 to infinity. You can use u substitution here. Let's set u to be 1 plus x to power 3 halves. du is equal to 3 halves x to power a half dx. So as you can see, you have square root of x dx on the numerator. If you multiply it by 3 halves and 2 thirds, then you're done. This is your du and on the denominator you have your u. So this integral can be written as two-thirds integral of du divided by u which we all know it's ln of u. So you have two-thirds ln of absolute value of u but what is u? u is one plus x to power 3 halves and x ranges between 1 to infinity but please note that if you plug in infinity you get ln of infinity which goes to infinity ln of infinity goes to infinity so you get a divergent so we have since the integral goes to infinity, it means that it is divergent. So our series, the summation of square root of n divided by 1 plus n to power 3 halves, and starts from 1 to infinity, also a divergent series. But please pay attention. This is one of the techniques that we are using. We can apply other techniques to analyze the convergence no divergence of a series.